Um, the first question is, which gender do you identify with? Female. Sorry, female. <laughs> uh, male. Female. Being a man. Yeah, masculine. Both. Both? Is that possible? What do you mean? Like, like as myself? Uh, male. Female. And why is that? Um. Wow. <laughs> brought up that way? Because I was born that way. I just, I just assume myself as a male. Wow. <laughs> I, wow, I don't know why. My school, my teachers all call me a girl. I think the gender's not necessarily a bi binary, but it works for me. The gender binary is the way Western society has typically organized itself and the cultures it has colonized into two categories by people's sex and corresponding gender. And imagine your little princess in the sweet lily castle where her prince awaits her. 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 Gender roles are the societal norms that decide what behaviors and attributes are deemed acceptable for a person based on their perceived sex. These roles are constructed arbitrary rather than inherent. They also vary among cultures. Do you feel that your gender is accurately represented in media and movies? I'm gonna say no, because you know, most guys have a six pack, you know, good looking, you know, chiseled chin, perfect tans in movies and in magazines, while the most average man clearly is not that. Strike two, one more, I'm taking your man card. My man card. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. People face discrimination when they try to live beyond the boundaries of the binary. Good evening. Tonight, the suicide of a Warren County teen is gaining nationwide attention and sparking a movement for the acceptance of transgenders. There is a terrible, terrible conflict and pull in both directions to conform to, in Leela's case, to conform to being a boy. Statistics show that one in ten rape victims is male. But little attention is ever paid to sexual violence experienced by men, and men rarely report the crime. And even when they do, they often get ignored or even worse, ridiculed. I got no problem if you're gay, but if you're gay, be a man about it. Like, ain't no way a man should wear heels. We were never meant to be put into these boxes in the first place. Um. I find myself already attracted to a lot of the, the hobbies and things that are stereotypically for the other gender. We need to let go of this fake story being fed to us that there can only be two ways to express yourself in this world. Yeah, I think being a man is very similar to being a woman. It's not necessarily as black and white as people think it is, but it's gender is more about who you are. I'm gonna wear girls' clothes when I want to. I'm gonna wear boys' clothes when I please. So fuck you, fuck you, fuck you for telling me to fit inside your gender binary. We need to open our hearts to acceptance, to difference, to diversity. We need to challenge oppression and hate when we see it. We need to give space for people whose voices are silenced by the gender binary. I won't fit inside your gender binary. What am I, if not what you say I am? I don't fit your definitions of what you think I have to be. I daydream about what it would be like to be carefree. Carefree about walking down the street, to fit, to match the image of what people have in their heads when they say she, to not see the disbelief that my name is Marie. I feel the desire to let my mind wander, but I don't have the room to ponder my dinner plans when I have an evident lack of safety. Others' opinions radiate my head, they're all I see. This framework told me to change, that it's not too late to conform, that it's not too late to compromise my individuality. But I could say the same to you. It's not too late to join the movement and set us all free. It's not about right or wrong when it comes to your identity. We can all alter the dominant mindset in society when we join forces to abolish the fucking binary.